Hey guys, Stealth here, and welcome back to Taskmaster Tuesday. In Taskmaster Tuesday, I design ships in Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts for a particular challenge. This time around, I don't exactly know what I'm going to be fighting, because today it is just going to be Brother Monroe and myself. Spartan has other obligations. The plan. I design a battleship. I make screenshots of said battleship, and I share that with him. He builds his battleship, he shares screenshots with me, and I build that battleship. And then we fight it out. Whoever wins um, is the one who sinks the other person's ship. So, suppose we can both win in this case. Now, it's going to be a 1930s battleship. Uh, there are no restrictions. Well, except for save file editing and stuff like that. So, time to give the Russian Empire some attention. Because I don't remember when the last time was that I built a battleship for the Russians. Let's have a go. Let's have a go. Modern battleship. Uh, we are in 1930, by the way. Of course we're going to go for the bigger battleship. Um, I find range to be largely unimportant. Beam is interesting. And let's set the crew to 100 and standard crew quarters. Now, when it comes to this design, what would I like? I know Brother Monroe is very good at designing very balanced ships, if you will. In the sense that they're... A good mix between firepower, survivability, is just a very good ship designer overall. How am I going to try and sync that? Do I go with a lot of secondaries? Do I go with a lot of primaries? Do I stay at range? Do I not stay at range? I mean, I don't get to control my ship, but I do have some impact on how my ship will perform, considering that I can dictate what sort of weapons they're on, etc. I can build the whole ship. And at the same time, I need to make sure that this ship, the one that I'm designing, can beat his ship. <sighs> choices, choices. Um, let's go with the Coincidence Rangefinder. I do like fast ships, but if you're going to go with a wider beam, a fast ship's not really a good idea. So let's go for 25 knots, and that should... Speed, uh, um, yeah, well, it's going to help with some space. Engines, turbo electric drive, decel and XL quickly... Although, what's my turning circle? 900 meters. Right. Uh, unbalanced rudder. 516. In that case, I don't really need the turbo electric drive. It is 2,000 tons heavier. Yeah, I don't need that. I don't strictly need that. I'm going to go with oil. Um, oh, this is tricky. I've never actually designed a ship to take on somebody else. That's a ridiculously heavy sonar array. Get out of here. Some torpedo blister. Uh, increased steering capability. Putting my turning circle at 402. That's good. And that is at 25 knots. If I slow down, it's going to be better. And now the guns. The guns, the guns. The best we got, well, largest guns we got, is the 18 inches Mark II. The higher the mark, the more accuracy and reload time and stuff like that that you get. Is The Mark IVs over here... They are generally a bit more accurate. If you look at 15,000 meters, they're going to have an accuracy of 2.2%, whereas these 15,000 meters have 2%. So it is 10% more accurate. Uh, that's the Mark IVs. We got Mark Vs. Yeah, we do. 15,000 meters there, actually less accurate. Interesting. Then again, you wouldn't really want to engage anything at uh, a 15,000 meter range with a 10 incher, unless it's a heavy cruiser or something. Um, do I go with a boring battleship? Do I go with a standard battleship? Do I go with an HE spammer? I mean, an HE spammer could work. It's just that Brother Monroe is generally far, far, far better at keeping his ships alive than I am. And that means that he's probably going to go with all sorts of uh, designs that will make sure the ship survives. So, a veteran crew, I mean, maximum bulkheads, being able to burn the ship down is more difficult. Because you got uh, reinforced bulkheads, this reduces chance of fire, increases fire extinguishing, you got triple hull bottom, which boosts resistance and torpedo damage. Um, Anti-flood, of course, does not help. Citadel does not help, but it does reduce flash fire chance. If I'm going to have to spam HE, it's going to have to be a big HE spammer. 
And by big HE spammer, I mean it's going to have to use a lot of guns. I can build seven centerline turrets with a range of 18 and a half. It's not stellar. Um, keep in mind, he's going to be fighting this ship, the one that I'm designing. So if I go with an HE spammer, he might just knock it out with 18 inch guns from, I don't know, 15, 20, 25 kilometer range <clears throat> without my ship being able to fire a single shot. So that too is a design issue. Um, I'm doing 25 knots. He's probably going to go for something a bit faster, meaning that his ship might stay at range. I'm, I'm, this is all guesswork and estimations on my part. What if I just build a tank? Just a big, tanky battleship. It's going to be a fairly traditional design, I think. A couple of 15 inches or 16 inches on there. This is Mark III. It's Mark III. It's fine. ABXY. 15,000 meters, you get 3.4% accuracy. This is 3.3, .3, but you throw out more shells. This is 2.6. And if you go for single barrel, it does not change. So if I were to house this, that would set me back 6,000 tons for three turrets, giving me a lot of options or a lot of displacement to still boost the rest of the ship. Okay, give me a medium funnel. Engine efficiency is going to be boosted. Pitch is not that bad. Slight aft weight offset, to my surprise. We'll fix that later. Auto loader. Whoa. Auto loader just makes your ship so damn heavy. Um, two powder. We're going to go with full capped ballistic shells. Nose fuses. Standard ratio. I don't have a secondary battery yet, and I'm not sure if I'm going to need one. Because I could just put the ship out like this. And put a load of ammo, sorry, a load of armor onto it. Let's go with 22 inches there. <clears throat> uh, 18 inches on the conning tower. 5 inches on the superstructure. 4 belts. I would love 10 inches, but that might be pushing it. Main deck, 10 inch. Four deck. No, I cannot boost it that much. Uh, let's go for seven inch. Six and six, and that's too heavy. Still going to be too heavy. Move to five, seven on both. And we are one ton shy of our total displacement. Pretty heavily armored ship. The shells that this thing puts out at 15,000 meter range can pen 35 inches of armor. And that is, um, yeah, okay, well, that should be sufficient. Because that means that at 35 inches of pen, 15,000 meters out, I could pen the ship itself. Doesn't mean, it, well, it doesn't matter it's going to be able to pen him, but it's worth a try, I suppose. Oh, come on, balance out. The super tower. Yeah, superstructure is so heavy. Oh, the ship's pitching quite a bit. The less pitch you have, the more you have your accuracy back, because the ship doesn't go up and down as much. Building this thing as a 360 turret would be funny, but just do horrible things to my pitch. Let's not. Uh, it's not going to win any beauty prizes, this ship. I can guarantee you that much. But that's not the point. The point is to have a ship that beats Brother Monroe. Which is not an easy thing to do. Alright, I think this is going to be it. This is going to be it. So this is what I'm going to send to Brother Monroe. This is what he will build in his editor as the enemy ship. By the way, you can do that by clicking U and then switching to the enemy and back. Uh, and I'm going to be building his ship. And I'm very interested to see what exactly he builds. Alright. Alright. I have Brother Monroe's design. He went with the Spanish battleship 1930s. Let me show you what he came up with. This is it. He went with 20 inch guns. Um, this is a powerhouse of a ship, but these guns, these 20 inches, are only Mark 1. 
So they take 85 seconds to reload. It's an interesting design. It has no secondaries. He went, um, like myself, with an increased beam. But he reduced the draft to make sure that the ship is a bit sleeker of a target. But at the same time, with a reduction in your draft also comes a reduction in your survivability. Speaking of survivability, um, the one time I decide not to put torpedoes on the ship, he goes without an anti-torpedo blister. So he uh, gave me this sort of opening, if you will, that I cannot exploit because I don't have torpedoes on my battleship. As I was kind of predicting, um, pretty heavy defenses, barbette armor 4, Krupp 4 of course, triple bottom, uh, reinforced bulkheads 2, anti-flood 3, and citadel 5. Nothing too special there. These shells are guided by Generation 2 radar and coincidence rangefinder, and these shells are super heavy, capped ballistic 2 shells. Yikes. If you get hit by one of these, you're going to have uh, a bit of a problem, to put it mildly. Is it going to do a fuck ton of damage to your ship, to put it bluntly? These shells, AP, with a full pen, do 2000 damage. HE does 5. 5k. That's a lot of damage. And um, these shells, these HE shells, use soft capped HE shell points, or common capped, uh, sorry, common pointed capped shells. Which means that they have further pen than a normal HE shell. The torpedoes that he has on the stern are 22-inch Mark III electric torpedoes, ranging out to 12.9. But I have an option to kill this thing. The main belt is really tough, but the fore and aft belt are not. 2-inch only. The main deck is 10-inch. Fore deck and aft deck, 2-inch only. The turrets will most likely survive at 22 inches of armor. But they too can be penned if you go for a top attack. So, time to take this thing down. Starting range, 30,000 meters. Meaning that at range, or at max range, this thing will fire. At 29.3 kilometer range with AP shells. Uh, my ship will not do nearly... At, well, actually, my ship outguns it. Or at least outranges it at 30.3. <sighs> okay, this is not going to be an easy fight. Let's go. Let's see what the positioning is. We of course know where the bad guy is. Sorry, ships are female, bad girl. I mean, it's an elegant design, Brother Monroe's ship, but it's a bit low to the water for my taste. That does mean, supposedly, or arguably, that you have uh, less of a ship to shoot at, yes, but you also have less resistance, and I believe the ship is a bit more prone to flooding. My ship... Let's see, these guns aren't even turning yet. I think I have been detected, though. Okay, let's start turning that way. This... Yeah, this is the pretty good turning circle that I got. Okay. At this range, I believe AP is going to be my best bet. Uh, let's slow down to full speed. That does mean that I don't get any bonuses. Defensive bonuses, that is. Like uh, getting a high-speed debuff on the enemy ship. Because I am simply not going very fast. Let's take some screenshots of this guy before he gets uh, greeted by a 20 inch shell. As I suspect that that will happen fairly shortly. Okay, Brother Monroe's ship. Of course, you can find Brother Monroe's attempt of his ship versus my ship on his channel. So be sure to check that out. Linked down below in the description. There. All right, current range, 29.9. That means we have range, but so do they. I'm going to do something a bit risky and go broadside. Now, I already have an 8.5% chance to hit. That is really good. And we fire 12 shells every salvo, and my salvo reloads in 36 seconds. That's almost a third of what his reload is. And I'm saying his as if Brother Monroe is commanding the ship, but of course he is not. I almost think that they haven't detected me. Because they are within firing range, they just haven't... ...turned to turrets yet. If I can outshoot this... Oh, if I can outshoot this thing from max range, I will do it. Gladly. Is. If you are a subscriber slash viewer of this channel, then you know that I love getting myself into closer range. And I love getting myself into trouble because of that. 
It's an unintended but unavoidable side effect. All right, here come the shells. It looks like with that salvo, we might fall a bit short of the ship. But it's 12 shells, so arguably we should at least get something to hit. And with that little... Yeah, no. <laughs> That's not how chance works. Um, with that little amount of deck armor, even the main deck can be penned. Oh, here she goes. Turrets are turning. She has enough accuracy to start building a solution. And she's preparing to fire. Oh dear. 20 inch shells, be kind. And please don't hit me. Let's see. Her chance to pen me is 54%. They can essentially pen everything but the Citadel. Uh, pretty terrible. Their hit chance is apparently 8.5%. Due to having, uh, of course, pretty good crew training, good hull stability and tower, and plus 500% or near enough target ship size modifier. In reverse, um, their ship is actually less of a target profile than myself. They have plus 374% target ship size, so my ship is considered bigger than theirs. While he displaces, I think it was 70,000 tons, and I displace 74,000 tons. Why on earth are we firing high explosive? She's firing again. Boink. I'm intermittently using he and she, by the way. Sometimes I refer to the ship as Brother Monroe's creation, being he. And sometimes I refer to the ship as she. I'm sorry, I, <laughs> I keep mixing these things up. Come on, get some damage in through that deck. That's where the ship is weak. Right through the fore deck would be very nice. If you could hit them at all. What's our current angle? Decent. I'm trying to stay somewhat away from this guy. 25 clicks out. We got another hit. Ricochet, partial pen. They have 9% damage instability. That is pretty serious. The less I get this guy to get accurate, I mean, the less accuracy this battleship builds, the better it will be for me. But I hope that with this fight, you can somewhat see why I prefer to spend my time closing into the enemy, because this is just a long-range gunnery duel at 25 kilometer range. Well, 24 now. So, I don't find it particularly interesting to watch, because we're just showing or throwing some really large shells across. Uh, I have been hit once, but it ricocheted. That's good. I have been able to hit him with about 10% of my shells. Pretty accurate. Accuracy is now 17%. Very nice. Oh, this is what I mean. If you get hit by one of those 20 inch shells, it just knocks you down a peg. That just caused my damage and stability to shoot up by 10%. What's theirs? 5%. The damage instability debuff kind of decreases as I think the ship gets. Well, it doesn't quite get repaired. But, well. Something happens to make sure that the ship doesn't exactly fall apart, and apparently the gunnery can adapt. To the different state of the ship. Some nice fire damage. If I could knock out a tower, that would be fantastic. And I know his superstructure isn't particularly heavily armored. Range, 22 kilometers. Really don't want to get this thing very accurate. Blocked. Okay. Great. Partial pen fires. Excellent. I was getting a few too many ricochets with those AP shells. I need to do a little better and hopefully HE is just going to slowly whittle his health down. Notification complete. Okay. Another factor that's important in this battle is the amount of crew. He went with cramped quarters, meaning that his ship starts to immediately get affected by losing crew. Their damage control is less, and their, uh, I think, main gun reload is a bit more than it normally would be. 
simply because they have less crew for them. So their reload, yeah, it's 89 seconds. I believe it used to be minus 35%, but I'm not exactly sure. At any rate, this ship should start losing more and more and more of its crew. There we go. No, it doesn't reflect it. Because they just lost some crew. But, the well, they barely went down. Uh, what's your accuracy there? Yeah, 16%. My chance to hit them is 22%. My chance to pen them is something entirely different, though, at 12.5%. Now I said I didn't want to build an HE spammer, but at this rate it might as well be. But hey, if I can knock this thing down... Slowly, I'll take it. 15%. At some point, I'm going to get... Oh, that was good. Uh, a full destructive hit on their torpedo launcher. The starboard torpedo launcher has been blown up, causing 500 damage and the loss of 41 crew members. So their damage control, and thus their ability to put out fires, is even less. Now, the ship is pretty heavily defended against fires, so I don't expect this to immediately cripple the ship. But... More and more fires, and more and more damage, more and more damage instability. That's one way to win. Their accuracy is only 13% now, versus my 24%. Keep it up. Yes, more, more, more. 13% accuracy in holding. Structural integrity down to 53%. Partial pen, 52%. I suspect that I'm going to get hit by that single shell that's coming directly for my ship. Hold on a second. Where'd that salvo go? Did I... Never mind, didn't get hit. My ship's been hit, what, twice? Five times. But, two ricochets, two partial pen and one full pen. So it's not that bad. At this range, could I... Yeah, I'm not exactly sure what I'm going... Ooh, that was not good. I'm not exactly sure if I'm going to hit belt or deck. I believe... It's 68% for the side. Yeah, ricochets. Ah. Also, I'm only firing three out of my four turrets. Damage to the funnel. 49% structural versus 73 on my part. Good, 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 good. Keep it up. Over pen and flooding. 48% structural. Their damage and stability has gone up to 24%. Mine is less than 10. But if I take another hit, it's probably going to balloon right to 15 or even 20%. Partial pen. Over pen. Jeez. Could I get just standard flat pens? That'd be great. Boink. Flooding. I don't see it, though. <laughs> it's like the ship's not flooding at all. Ricochets. HE next. See if we can set another fire. Yes. Four fires. 21% crew loss. Their main guns are down to 92.9% and their damage control is down to 75%. But, as you can see, the fires slowly tick up in damage. But overall, it's just the straight-up uh, partial pens and pens that do all the damage. 39% structural. 57 on my part, as I just got hit pretty bad with a 460 damage right through the main deck of the Imperatrizza Maria. And there you go. Damage and stability on my part is 20%. For them, it's 29. But their accuracy is now uh, 20%. Minus 33, as we keep closing. Um, I cannot speed up anymore. So I can just keep sort of limping away at 20 knots. And they can do 22-ish. Oh, no, 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 no. Please don't hit me. Do I just stay the course? Or do I push in? Is the way I see it, I'm essentially going to get... Oh, I'm not going to get penned anyway. Uh, I was going to say the ship's going to get penned anyway, because those 20 inch shells just plunge right through everything. But that's not true. 
Our damage control is at 71.9%, but the... Yeah, fire damage is just not going to be good enough. The structural down to 36 versus my 54. <sighs> 51. There goes an engine, and I'm flooding. And my rudder is not as good as it used to be. Yeah, sorry. No, actually, uh, correcting my last. Their reload time is going up. Because of the loss of crew. Mine should not be affected at all. Because I still have a bit of, well, spare crew, as bad as that sounds. So, if some crew members get killed while manning the guns or doing whatever they are doing, then I still have crew to replace them. Well, the Monroe ship does not... Shit, that's a loss of a turret. That's the Y turret destroyed. Great. In that case, I'm going to have to turn a bit more starboard. Exposing more of the side of my ship. But at least getting the B turret back involved. Because I'm now down to six guns, which is the same firepower he has. 43% versus 34%. No! I don't want to lose. And aside from picking ammo and determining what angle I want to fight at, there's not that much that I can do. Oh! Conning tower damaged. That's going to cut my accuracy. Yeah, we're down to 9... No, 13%. Oh, boy. All engines are out. Go back to AP. Please tell me I can just get a really good pin on him. Oh, this is going to... Yeah, it's going to utterly demolish the ship, because I have no further speed bonuses. I'm a huge sitting duck. Just a massive target. And he can pen me everywhere, essentially. My structural integrity is 23%. His is 31 Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Well, we are doing some damage. They've lost 27% of crew. My damage control is going down. Come on, don't massacre me, please. Chance to pen, 13%. Because we're shooting probably the very heavily angled bow. Yeah, ricochet and parcels. Give me HE again. Oh, snap. He also torpedoed me. But I have no propulsion, and I have no rudder, so I can do jack shit. And I'm flooding to death, by the way. Just as a quick aside, I'm flooding to death. Look at that. I'm surprised the ship hasn't rolled over yet. That's the main gun. Good. Oh, she won! She won. Crap. Alright, well, not all is lost, yet. Because Brother Monroe still has to fight my ship. And if he loses that as well, then I suppose we have a draw. So, head over to Brother's Monroe, Brother Monroe's channel and see how he did. Let me know what your thoughts are down below, and I'll see you soon for more Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts.